Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be filming um, in real time for a change. And I'm going to show you how I put together this little junk journal. Um, I've got a process video on how I've decorated the pages in here and a flip through of this little book. But I actually want to show you how I put the whole book together. It's really, really simple. This is a technique that um, lots of people have used before. It's called tab bind tab binding it's a great way to join individual sheets of paper together but i'm going to do something slightly different with it so this is the new dina wakeley collage spikes collection they're 20 um 20 double-sided pieces of card which is awesome so they're instant backgrounds basically that you can use to cut up decorate on and so on i'm just going to choose six pages one two three four five six out of that make it easy i don't like making decisions i am actually going to use this piece of cardboard um, as the base of my um, book as well because it's stuck with adhesive i am just going to trim off the little adhesive bit so um it's not really going to make any difference to the size of the book I probably shouldn't do that three at a time, but you know, it's me. Oh, it's only two at a time. There you go. <laughs> okay. So now I've got my bits of paper, all I'm going to do is make my little signatures. And one of the things I really like about my junk journals is that there's different sizes within them. So all I'm going to do is just go through and fold. Bone score here. Oops. So I'm going to keep my book about that size. Might fold some in half. So it doesn't matter what size you've got bits and pieces um, hanging out. Um, I don't measure, you can measure. Everything's sort of done by eye. So you can see already that just by having these pre-printed pages, you're going to come up with a really interesting looking book. You can also tear your pages and so on. They don't have to be um, perfect. Nothing I do is perfect, so that's the way I like it. Okay, so I have got my signatures here. You can see that they're all different shapes and sizes. Um, and basically, all I want to do is to put them together in an interesting way. So, I really like text. I'm going to try and sort of make it not cohesive so much because I like it being all over the place, but having interesting bits and pieces together. So, that's really colourful. Having a blank page there would be good. Those two work together. That will work. That will work. The only thing I need to make sure of is I've got one of the larger pages at the back. So I'm going to swap that page and that page. Okay. So I've got my book ready to put together. So tab binding is all about um, just using tabs to put it together. I'm just going to use some washi tape. This is old washi tape that I've had for years. No rhyme or reason. And I'm just going to stick on two pieces. And again, I'm not measuring for this. Now you can measure and have them equal. 
but I'm not. So with this, it's really important you follow in a pattern. So usually when this book is done, it's done with two pieces of tape and then one piece of tape. I'm just making it a little bit like firmer by making two pieces of tape, but I'm going to alternate where my tape is sitting. So this one is going to be lower and underneath. Okay, so once I put this piece down here, what I'm going to do is just move this little bit up. Try and keep it um, with a little bit of gap. So I'm going to lay this bit over the top again. Okay, and I'm going to fold over those first pieces of tape. So this one and the one in the middle. Okay, so now I've got two pieces of tape exposed. Because I've got these two pieces of tape exposed, I need to put them in the folded down position, if that makes sense. So once you get into a pattern with this one, it's really, really easy. It doesn't need to line up perfectly. It is going to be a loose-ish bind. Okay, but basically you just want to have it so it goes. Now you can obviously use any tapes that you fancy to do this. Um, I quite like this aqua turquoisey colour because I know these have got quite a few bits of colour within them. Um, you could use a white one, really doesn't matter what you use. So this is a folded down one, so I'm putting it the same place as a folded down. Or roughly the same place. They're always going to be slightly different when it's me doing it. Okay, and again, those pieces that were sticking out before, those are the bits I'm going to fold over. But now I've folded over those bits, those are the bits I'm going to put down. So hopefully you can sort of see the pattern of how this is going together. So again, I'm going to fold up these bits. Now you can do this for as many or a few pages as you want to make sure it all goes together. And if you had a larger book, obviously you could use more tabs to glue it together. Okay, now this is my last one. This one's going to have a few few tabs on this, but that's okay because we're actually going to cover up this piece, which is a bit of a shame because it's a nice piece of paper, but that's that's all well and good. Okay, now I've got a nice firm bind without having to sew anything, which I love. The washi adds a little bit of interest to your page. And you've just got a really cute little junk journal that you can chuck stuff in. Okay, now you can certainly leave it like that. Um, but I wanted to finish mine off a little bit and make it freestanding. So this is really, really great card at the back of these um, collage sparks. Um, so I'm going to use that as my baseboard. If I can find my knife. Again, you can measure... I'm just being really loose about this. Oops, I just caused a landslide into my bin. So I might need a few passes with your knife to get through it because it is quite thick. Keep that, you can make a smaller book. And we're going to glue this down here. Now I can also cover the back of this book with... Um, paper which I shall do just going to trim off the again the little bit of excess glue on the top here not doing a very good job but that's okay okay so grab a piece of paper I like this one love is love
Again, you can use your ruler. You don't need to just use the bits and pieces around here. Um, one thing that I didn't do with the last book that I made was make sure that I had this up the right way. So do make sure you've done that. Um, I'm going to use a glue stick or you can use um, double side tape, whatever you fancy to glue your piece of paper down. And if you wanted to, you could go around the edge with um, washi tape. I'm just going to go around the edge of this with a black marker just to hide that cut edge. Okay, so that's my back piece. I am going to switch over and use this red liner tape to glue my book together. Now, I find quite often that this is the stickiest of um, tapes. It is also a nightmare for me to try and peel off the backing. But it just means I know everything holds down really, really firmly, which is what you really want in a book and the fact that it's going to be handled or possibly going to be handled. anyone's got any tips and tricks about how to get this off without taking everything off that would be great I've joked in my videos in the past but it takes me longer to take the tape off than it does I take the lining off the tape than it does for me to make things sometimes and I think this will be the same Oh, right. There we go. It does work out in the end, I promise. And that one doesn't though, because I've just pulled the entire thing off. If you're used to using a hot glue gun or something like that, that would certainly work as well. Okay, see, told you, the red liner tape is the trickiest of all. But it doesn't mean it's going to glue everything down. Okay, so you're going to laugh at me, but I am going to do one more piece across the middle for a particular reason. When all else fails, get the glue. <laughs> so this is what happens when you do it in real time. You just get sealed in stakes. They happen in the videos that you watch, but um, they're usually speedy, so you don't see them. 
Okay, I'm just gonna put some ribbon so I can tie that my book down because my ribbon's not necessarily as long as I would like it. I'm just gonna cut it in half. Just to give it a little bit more length. And then I'm going to glue my book down and check it's the right way up. Always check before it's your last gluing down. Okay, so now I have my little booklet. Really fast, really easy to make. So much fun to decorate. All my pre-decorated pages from the collage spikes that I can add my own artwork to now. I can use the colour themes in here, I can go completely crazy, I can stamp, I can um, stencil all through that um, collage, which is what I've done in this little booklet. Put in transparencies, add in collage fodder, paper dolls, anything you can think of you can put in here. So it can be a little inspiration book or a little quote book and it's just so much fun to play with. So I can't wait to see what you do with these collage spikes and see your little junk journals if you choose to make them as well and how you decorate them. Until next time, bye for now.